Today, we're in Burr Ridge. We're in the suburbs. It's our first shoot in the suburbs, actually. And I'm here with Lisa Petrick. Yes. Right? Yes, Jameson Sotheby's. Hi. Great. She's the listing agent at this beautiful palatial home, and she's going to give us a tour today. Where would you like to start? I mean, where we are right now is pretty exquisite. Yes. These doors, which you just shut for us, each door took about eight men wow. to put in. So they are incredibly heavy. Look at this, I mean. It's a fortress to get in here. When I start moving it, you like, it has so much weight behind it. It does. You have to make sure that it's not gonna slam. So you've got your formal dining space. So what do we have above us? We have some coffered ceilings. Yes. And do we know what kind of wood this is? And we don't know anything, and why is that? Um, my clients purchased it from the bank developer, and he chose to walk away. So my clients actually purchased the property as a bank-owned property okay. uh, a few years ago, and there's been a lot of rumors. Um, I recently, the most recent rumor I heard was that Michael Jordan played poker here <laughs> okay. with a few people, and um, was that was kind of a fun story to hear. So as yeah. we walk through, I'll kind of point out other little things that I've heard. Perfect. Um, I like that, because we don't know if anything is true. But yeah. We have some suggestions, we have rumors. And just hearing the rumors is going to be half the fun with this. I, I agree, but I'm just not a gossiper, so I'm afraid to repeat the rumor, right? Okay. Yeah. Um, so rumor has it that these floors were redone by the people that do the flooring in the White House. So you have presidential flooring. Okay. I do want to touch on the water situation because I know that's a big question mark for the home. A lot of people are curious what happened. Um, the people that purchased the property from the bank, they are a group of investors. So they don't necessarily live in Chicago and understand Chicago winters. So the I don't believe the, the house was winterized and I think that may have been how the water situation happened. but. The villages then send you a bill, like daily, and the pipe burst, so the water was just pouring in every day, uh, and no one was here to check on the property. Okay. So for several weeks, water was pouring in, and therefore there was a swimming pool in the um, walkout first floor downstairs that we'll see. It was raw space, um, so since the water, my clients have finished it to match the rest of the home. Um, my clients have invested over six million in the property. It's listed at five, so time for a deal, a bargain, right? <laughs> um, but they added in the retention pond. The village wanted that for um, certificate of occupancy. They've been maintaining it. I've been here at least once a week, showing it, checking on it. So um, it's ready for its new buyer. And what sort of people do you get coming through this home? I get a lot of medical people since the hospital is closed. Um, a lot of people with families, but they tend to worry that the home is too big for their family. Okay. And then I get a lot of people, I had people most recently wanting me to host their homecoming and prom. Oh wow. We've had so weddings. You have perfect space for that. Well, yes. But I remember seeing a billboard, something like King's something for this property. Do you know, you know what I'm not familiar with I that. I swear there was, a, was like King's Home or King's Palace, something like that. Okay. One of the agents, like once upon a time, was using this. Uh, I'm sure I know which one that was, but. I, I think I know who we know. Yes. <laughs> and and I, you can definitely see this as a banquet hall yes. for wedding, for anything. I mean, it has that feel to it. This is a home, but it's not a home they usually see in the suburbs. Agreed. Even in Chicago. Right. Agreed, yeah. So originally when I procured the listing, I reached out to the village and um, the mayor at the time was slightly open to the concept of switching this from residential to commercial, but they made it very clear to me and my clients that they would then change the tax bracket, okay. which my clients were hesitant to do. Um, then I we, totally understand, it's yeah. so fearful, especially while you're holding it. Exactly, for all these years. Taxes are about $146,000 okay. a year, which... So before you pay anything, you're already paying one hundred fifty. dollars Correct, okay. yeah. We've had three very interested people with offers on the table, but when I explained the tax situation, they've all walked away yeah. from that. Because it's currently taxed with a price of $5 million. So it's, okay. it's where it should be. I mean, you could hire someone to argue it a little more, you know. So I'm not an expert in the suburbs. I just focus in the city. Okay. How does this 
how is this location for Burr Ridge? So the proximity to the expressway, to downtown, I mean, the location's great. It's ideal. Um, you've probably driven around the neighborhood and seen that yeah. there. We were flying the drone earlier. We could see a lot of nice homes yeah. here. So this is, kind of fits in the market, but it is not your traditional home. Okay. Specifically the exterior. People are a little turned off by the exterior vibe not being traditional. But to me, I am bored of traditional. Uh -huh. And I think the interior with the woodwork and the uniqueness of the space, which we'll see soon with the atrium, which is my favorite part, um, just makes this home really highlight and shine. And every time I come, I'm just so enamored by all of it. Every time you're here, you notice something you haven't noticed before. Yes. And every room is so big. I mean, yes. this is larger than my place in the city. Just, yes, just this, this is kitchen. two of my apartments. <laughs> yeah. And how many square feet are we in? Home, home um, it's a little over 30,000. Yeah. And no one's ever lived here. And you can no. tell, I mean, nothing's used. Yeah. It's, it's like no one ever moved in and it was built yesterday and now we're just doing a walkthrough because we're closing on it. That's what hey, it feels like. that's my dream. <laughs> that's, Let's we're make that happen. Right? Yeah. So anything special in here we should know? Anything that really stands out? I love the outdoor space to walk, walk around everywhere. So the downstairs has a full wrapped terrace and then upstairs the terrace wraps except for by the master. Okay. It cuts off so the master has a little private right. terrace. Okay. which is nice. Um, so we're on the northwest corner looking over the retention pond where people can come in with the groceries. There's a pantry over there. I mean, obviously there's all these built-ins. Um, you have your dual sub-zeros. You have your, you know, eight burner situation with the wolf there. You've got your wine fridge. I mean, when you say, tell me what's unique about this kitchen, the whole house is so unique. It's yeah. not for me You're, to like, kind of- You almost don't have time to list it or even yeah. know how to list it all because there's so much. I mean, just walking past the door. You know, usually Every you open a door, door and you different. move past. And yeah. you're like, okay, well look at this door. And then yeah. look at that door. And then look at the elevator door. I was just gonna say the elevator, we're gonna yeah. take a ride in that later cool. for sure. Yeah, the rumor again was that the doors were flown in from Morocco. Okay. So they have a Moroccan vibe. I've heard Greece as well, but I definitely get more of a Moroccan vibe. So the entire um, property is either stone or hardwood flooring. There's no carpet. You've got Brazilian cherry here, and then you've got that one area up front that I was talking about earlier. This is the more casual, you know, living room where you can yell across, hey, I'm hungry, bring me a snack. This whole house is connected so. in that way where you can really see everything. You can. You have onyx up here, it looks beautiful. Yeah. Fireplace right there. This is the best fireplace, I'd say. Huge ceiling heights. And then we're, we'll pop into my favorite little, I guess, little nook, we'll call it, the atrium with the 38-foot ceiling. Okay. <laughs> this is spectacular. Yeah, so this is why people want to host their wedding, their graduation, their homecoming for this dance floor, right? Yeah. I mean, can't you just see a ball happening right now? We're in our ball gown, tuxedo. 100%. Cheersing. Sit down. Do you know the size of this room? The size of the room, I don't know. Okay. No. This is like 2,000 square feet, maybe, yeah. right here. Like Agreed. Just, just right here in this Agreed. one space. Yeah. And it's completely open. I mean, probably about 30 feet on ceiling height, 25 minimum. And you can look up, and we have such a beautiful day right now, too. You can see the sun shining through. It's coming through on the clouds. We did have a buyer that had a helicopter. Okay. Um, so his idea was to reinforce the roof in the front and then come in through that door up there, which has roof access. Hold on, hold on! We're gonna crash for Christ's sake! Hold on! Ah! So I Yeah, I'm alright. Good job. But that, that offer didn't end up working out. Yeah, it's not Those every day taxes. you get that helicopter box. I know, I agree. That was my first. I was in a property once that had an 18 car garage. Okay. It was on Lake Marie. It had okay. a bowling alley. And when it was a peninsula, you would drive past all these small, insignificant homes in Antioch, Illinois. Okay, I'm familiar, yes. And drive down this little peninsula to this enormous, enormous mansion. It was a great property, but it was in the middle of nowhere and yeah. it was so strange for what it is. When you see these homes like this, it's always someone's dream to build it. 
Yes. And as you work with people, you learn quickly. It's like as soon as you're custom building something, Correct. you may not get your money out of it. We did have another buyer that wanted to add a bowling alley in the garage. There you go. So. And you said the garage is 18 or 22 cars? So originally they said it as 22, but with today's cars, I would probably say more like 18. Okay. Great fireplace in the back too. Yeah. And I like how all the rooms connect because this is like the office of the office. Correct. Correct. Okay, so we have great coffin ceilings here. I love the chandelier. I love the chandelier. Do you know anything about the lighting? Just like everything else, nothing, right? No. So most of this was already here. It yeah, was. was at all of this was already here. Okay. Yeah. And so nothing. just that, wherever it was at, it was just downstairs. Is that right? That's prior to me being the listing agent, but yes, my okay. clients, when they purchased it from the bank, they put in the retention pond, they finished off the basement, which was raw, um, and just, you know, purchased the furniture and stuff. For staging, okay. yeah. This is still wrapping all the way around. Correct. Yeah. Just like the terrace outside. How many acres? It wraps just over two and a half. Okay. Yeah. For Burr Ridge, is that normal or average? It's lot? two pins, which is what makes the taxes so lovely, okay. right? <laughs> so. So right back where we start. We are full circle. Did we see everything? We bypassed. The There's uh, powder rooms underneath the staircase. One Unless you have to go, I don't have to go. I'm good. No, we can go. We can go up the stairs. Let's do it. So I will point out there's a junction box above us. So if you wanted to add an additional chandelier by the skylight, you could. See it? Okay. Yeah. And then to the right, we're going to head into the master suite, which is the entire front of the building. So the whole west face of the building. You know, when someone's building a home like this, they usually want a bridal staircase. But this is so grand. This is so much better. Look how wide this is. This is amazing. This is yeah. a fortress. This is not a normal home. John. This is like eight feet. Yeah, this is like, this is a castle. Yeah, I like to call this the master suite sitting area, right? So your terrace breaks right here. So it wraps fully downstairs, but it breaks here and then it breaks to the front of the home. And is this where it becomes private for the master? Yes. Okay. Can we get back in on the other side over there? Oh, I probably have it locked. So again, yet another fireplace. No shortage of fireplaces. You know how Chicago gets in the winter. Even the crown molding. So that crown molding was throughout the entire property. And also on this wall was more pieces that my clients removed okay. to make it a little more traditional. Okay, a little more neutral. Yes, so I have those tiles downstairs. I can show you where we've put all the leftover pieces, okay. which is kind of cool to see. Yeah, want to see someone um, wants them, they can do something with them. Exactly, wow, exactly. I know. feel like I'm in a medieval is there someone right here? Like like yeah. This is not for Adam Kelly. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. The Hamas, you know, the Hamas hand? No, I don't know nothing it's about that. It's a symbol of peace. Really? That's so yeah. cool. The Mediterranean culture is pretty. So to it's like an evil eye. Have you, are you familiar yes. with the evil eye? It's, yes. it's that. So to school yourself for this property, how much research have you done or like how much have you had to learn? Because this is totally different than anything you've ever sold properly. Definitely different. You know, it's like when people have children, they can't pick their favorite, <laughs> but I would probably want to like say it's my favorite um, just because it's so unique and different. Yeah. Um, I did a lot of research more so in the beginning on the village, mm -hmm. on how the rules worked, you know, what can the property be used for? Um, but as far as the finishes, I mean, the harbor floors, you know, Brazilian cherry, it's pretty. Yeah. yeah. Well, you mentioned when you were getting this listing, one of the reasons that they chose you is the differentiations you had previously gone from residential to commercial for another property, right? So, yeah. So when I was younger, my dad owned a company and he wanted to open it in a residential home. So okay. for two years, he fought the village of Bartlett, actually, okay. um, to operate a newspaper out of his home. So we then ended up, the basement was the newspaper. The first floor was his, mine, and the secretary's office, and then we lived upstairs. Okay, so, I grew up in a very similar situation. Oh, tell situation. me. So my dad was in real estate. Okay. And he had his whole office in the house and in the coach house. Okay. And he had tenants in the coach house up above. And so 
at all hours there are people coming and going, yeah. like people working and people doing all kinds of stuff. And there's a phone system too. So you have this ridiculous phone system like next to your bed. So you get intercom. Yes, you get intercom like, yes. all the time. Yes. And then there's cameras outside too everywhere. Yes. So you're like, this is so strange. My friends yeah. thought it was so strange. I thought it was normal. And then you get out of it and you're like, oh yeah, this is really weird. It was awkward also like the bus stop was like right in front. Okay. And like we had like a sign for the office. <laughs> so people would stop. And people would forward. mock me getting off the, the bus <laughs> all the time. But I really honestly, you couldn't take a day off. Yeah. Because the business was in the house. Yeah, so exactly. I think it gave me my work ethic of my seven days a week, no vacation. I like that. I'm gonna steal that. Yeah. You can steal I'm that. Steal I'll that. allow. Okay. I'll allow. Because it's my so, camera, I said it first. <laughs> <laughs> let's just, let's we can go that. through the master closets. So personally, I would update this a little bit with some glass doors so that you can actually see what is inside of the closet. Okay. Maybe so do some different build outs so they're a little more functional. It's just a little bit more custom built for this space. They were. You're not going to yes. find these in the magazine. Anymore. No, definitely not. And then up above over here is additional um, storage. So this is hers. Maybe this is his. I don't know. Maybe he goes up there. <laughs> I don't know. It's a very fair. I mean, this is from that wall to that wall. That's how deep that is. Yeah. What? Do you know what this is? I believe it's the shoe closet, right? The accessories. Are you serious? I mean, that's that my assumption sense. with the shelving. Yeah. Yeah, it does. It's a mystery. I uh, I wish I had been here for the poker games with Michael Jordan, though. That's yeah. for sure. When I heard that, I was quite disappointed that I missed out on that. So now we are in the master bathroom, which has dual showers. You can't say his and hers, because you never know, right? Yeah, of course. One does have a sauna capability. And then this is where the terrace broke for the master, so the master bedroom had its own little terrace. And then oh, so Right. Yes, yeah. Okay. You're in one of the bedrooms. How many bedrooms do we have? You have six upstairs, two downstairs. Okay. All are en suites um, with their own bathroom. Let me just uh, pop the lights on with the walk in closet and access to the terrace. I love the doors here. I mean, we've said it already, but every one is different. It's a fortress, I'm telling you. So obviously you're above your atrium, so you can have your uh, Scarface moment, right? Where you're looking down. Pretty cool. And then this is where you have access to the roof. So how about we take the elevator down to the first floor? Okay, let's do it. There you go, perfect. It does take a minute, it is quite slow. There you go. Okay, so we've arrived to the first floor. So this is the area that was underwater. Let me pop some lights on here. So all of this, when it was underwater, was raw space. So once they dried it out, my clients finished it to match the rest of the home. So they have the same flooring, they have a similar look on the ceiling. I think they did a quite nice job of blending it. I mean, you would never know that yeah. this was underwater. And this it's really is good to know, important to know that this wasn't finished then. Correct. Because people are always worried about that. Of course, yeah. And then sure you guys have whatever remediation done and all. Absolutely. Oh my gosh, yes. And then we've had several people wanting to add in a pool. So this is where you could do your pool. Oh, and sure. then there's a little closet over there for like the pool room. So you can put all your equipment and stuff in there. Right. But being the location, you know, Plainfield County Line, you would think it was a busy intersection, right? Yeah. Have you heard a single car? No, you don't hear anything. You hear nothing. Quiet. It's super quiet. Yeah, it's very peaceful. Yeah. So, wanna see the garage? Yes. Okay. So, how many cars do you have? Me? I don't even own a car. Oh. 
Oh, this not, could, not enough for the house. You could definitely make this your bowling alley then. You could do anything you want. You could do an art studio, you could do a museum. <laughs> so I want to hear from you, what, how, how many cars do you think would fit? Mid-sized car, not, not Escalade. Escalade, I would say 15. I think around 10. Yeah. So where does that go? This also leads back into where we just were. It's just another hallway. Okay. This actually will take us to that room that has all the extra pieces that I wanted to show you. Oh, yeah. Let's yeah. So to the left, you have the media room, which you could turn into a gym space if you didn't necessarily want to have a movie media room. Over here oh, wow. okay. is our extra pieces room. This is unreal. I wasn't kidding. <laughs> I have actually had a showing where someone took one of the tiles, just as like a memento, since they are obsessed with the home. This is like an arche archeological dig. It is. And they pull everything out of the ground. Agreed. There's more. Off. I have another room like this, but this is the cleaner. Wait, what? There's another room like There's this? There's another room like this, yeah. So this was, where was all? So these flat tiles were on the back wall right when you walked in. I totally agree with you looking at these. Correct. And then these were trim in all the bedrooms and throughout the home. And why do they take these out? Same reason, neutralize it? To, yeah. Okay. I get it. Yeah. This is cool. Yeah, agreed. But yeah, this is like the most fantastic grand entrance I think I've ever seen. I think so. So this is quite the entrance. Yeah. And I'm looking down because I will fall <laughs> if I don't. <laughs> so yeah, that's 6501 South County Line. Well, thank you so much for the tour. Bring really me a buyer. Let's do a deal. Let's do it. Make yeah. It okay. Thanks. Bye, guys. Bye. Yeah. Thanks.